this is Susan Sound on the Maker with Sun is the Future.net, and here I am with the team members of Solar Spirit from South Australia. And can we have your names, please? Uh, Hayden. Uh, Rob. Ben. My name's Dave. Oh, tell us, tell us, what are you? Uh, what's your feeling? Are you just full of uh, energy? Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> feeling pretty happy about it. Um, we solid like a fair distance, which was great since it's the first time we've ever tested it, out this car in the challenge. So. Yeah, we're pretty. We're all pretty stoked. Yes, and yeah, it's a great finish. And then also, uh, we see that you're one of the few cars that's coming in with uh, more than one. I mean, this is three seaters. Yeah, three seats. Okay. So, well, what's the whole long process? How, how many years have you been? Oh, this is the first year you said that. Uh, uh, that we've entered the challenge. Um, I think they've been working on it for one and a half years or something. It's been a very long process and a lot of work's gone into it. Yeah. But first time you're entering the race, right? Yeah, yeah, the first time this car has been in the race. Yeah. How do you feel? Oh, I'm so happy to be home right now. <laughs> That's all I can say. But you're... I'm going to kiss the ground, but now I've got to kiss my girlfriend straight after. <laughs> oh, are happy we... To be back in we can Australia see too. you guys are full of exuberance. Yeah. And uh, well, tell us, what's your plan for the future? Are you going to continue on with the uh, uh, World Solar Challenge? Oh, I bet. Um, I reckon in the next couple of years' time, I'll probably come here and watch it. But I'll let other students be involved inside the actual race itself. Let them build the car. Let them drive the car home. Let them experience the feeling that we all had as a team. So, how many students are working on the team? Um, all up, there was actually 21 people, and there's only four four students, four drivers here today. So, where did you park the car when it was being worked on? Uh, what was that? Where was the car parked? In uh, is it someone's garage or in your school? Or? At, at the TAFE uh, Regency campus is where it was built by all the students there. Well, tell us about your school. Is it TAFE? You said? Uh, yes, TAFE is there. TAFE Technical College. Well, uh, where about? Is it South Australia? Uh, Regency campus. So yeah, Regency Road. So are you all engineering students or very from? Very. Uh, we got electrical. Yeah. All from different trades. I'm an uh, apprentice electrician, Ben's uh, electronics. electronics. Rob's a mechanical fitter and Hayden's a boiler uh, boiler making. Yeah. Oh, boiler making? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's the first one I heard. Okay. But, uh, well, as overall, what, what's your feeling about, uh, are you all going to think about going into solar industry or? Oh, well, I think this car is like a great step towards the concept of what solar cars should look like in the future. So, yeah, there's definitely heaps of improvements we can make on the car. and. Hopefully you see these driving in the future, so yeah, the solar industry is looking good. Did you guys run into any special mechanical problems, or uh, was there something that you have learned from this whole experience? Uh, I think early on we had a problem with the array charging, but we fixed that on the first day, and other than that, the car's gone. That seems to be uh, the same situation a lot of cars are dealing with, right? I've heard a lot of people struggled with it. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the problem was, but other than that, right at the beginning, we've had no problems at all. Like The car's... The cars run perfectly for us, or we think anyway. Well, I've noticed uh, the curvature in your car, and how did you uh, deal with that in terms of the solar cell? Um, you how the curves? Uh, this is completely silicon, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's hard to position it in the sun to get the right amount of sunlight, but we jacked it up different ways and things like that. And there's a lot of resistance at the front from all the wind and that, but I think we overcome that. Very good. And this is completely silicon. You stay within the rules of uh, six square meter without using any gallium yeah, arsenide. Yeah, we're we're in the same class as everyone else here. Our cars within the guidelines. And any idea how much the whole thing costs? No, we actually haven't got an uh, actual figure, but we we working as a team. It's about just over two hundred thousand. But a lot of labor is put into it. That's really can't difficult. Put a price on all the effort that's been put in into this. I hope you guys are also having fun. It was fun, yes. Well, what about after war? Well, are you going to take it back to the TAFE campus and for display or is it going to be for educational? Uh, no, it'll stay in the square here tomorrow and people can come through and have a look at it. And then uh, I dare say after that it'll go back to TAFE and we'll continue to work on it and make improvements for the next event. Fantastic. What? We also got the Clipsal 500 as well. We're going to end, uh, put on display as well. Okay. Oh, I think there should be more and more people seeing these. I mean, these are fantastic. This is the way to the future, and we want more people to get involved with it. And, well, so, uh, what's your plan for tonight? Um, uh, once we finish here, I think, maybe go back to our own beds and enjoy a nice hot shower. <laughs> yes, I bet, I bet a lot of people like yeah. that. Okay, well, thank you very much. really That's appreciate okay. this. I'm going to go ahead.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Have a good Thank day. You. Cheers. Sunny Offices in San Nanavaker with SunnysReviewShirt.net. And have a lovely sunny day.